Did you see the Jimmy Butler hat thing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doug Jimadome. Doug Jimadome. Jim 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 yeah. Jimsdale. Jimsdale Jimadome. <laughs>
Um, I think he's talking about the Knicks. The Knicks? Yeah. What do you think? Oh, I could see him talking about the Knicks, given that they're on that long win streak. They haven't you lost know? a game since the second. They've only lost one game in December. It's yeah. wonderful. So, and the Knicks always kind of have a little push, and then, okay, you know what? Yeah, he's talking about the Knicks. I'm okay with it. I like it. Talking about the Knicks, final sure, answer? Sure, let's, let's roll the dice. Let's see. Why, why does this keep happening to Anthony Davis? Why, oh. why? No, no, he's talking about Anthony Davis. Over the last week, we saw two Western Conference All-Stars go down with injuries that will keep both of them out for a month or more. Those, of course, being Lakers big man Anthony Davis and Warriors superstar guard Steph Curry. As both teams are trying to fight their way into a playoff spot, which team will be more affected by their star player's injury? The Lakers without AD or the Warriors without Steph? It's the Warriors without Steph. And I think that's, I'm not going to say it's not even close, but it, it seems not even close. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the Warriors with Steph on the floor are something like a plus 20. Without him playing yeah. in a game, they're negative 14, which mm -hmm. is two worse than the worst team in the NBA. They are literally so bad without Steph. It's ridiculous. And um, I also want to go back to, I think it was last week, Justin, you said something about how the Celtics would sweep the Warriors. This is a little side bit. They would sweep them with mm. Steph Curry on the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors have not only, they've never been swept, and they've also never lost in five games. Mm -hmm. So they're still one of those great teams. They're still a dynasty, and they're tough to be come playoff time. But without Steph Curry, it's really difficult to see what the Warriors could be doing. And I'm not hitting the panic button yet, but God knows my hand is hovering it right now. So, I mean, it all, it all kind of comes down to how long he's out. Both of these are kind of ambiguous injuries. I feel like it's probably more likely that Anthony Davis misses more time just because he consistently misses more time than Steph does. Right. Steph would die to be on the court. It doesn't necessarily feel that way about AD, uh, given how much time he's missed. So um, if, 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 uh, if Steph is out for three weeks... I don't think you need to press the panic button. No, if he's out for a month and a half, we're going to uh, see. We're still before Christmas, you know? Yep. Just yeah. So here's the thing. The Lakers are top 10 in the league in points, in field goal percentage, and rebounds. But without AD, that's going to be rough. But LeBron is chasing the scoring record, so maybe he ramps it up and just kind of goes for broke a little bit. That's why I think it's more worrisome for the Warriors. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem with the Warriors is only the Rockets turn the ball over more than the Warriors do mm -hmm. in the entire mm -hmm. league. Um, now, they're not terrible on defense. They're just 20th in defensive rating. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it's going to be rough out here if it's an extended period of time because he is their offense. I know that, yeah. I mean, Jordan Poole had a great game the other day, but, I mean, without Steph, what are we talking about with them? Yeah. So the Lakers are 3-3 three and three when AD doesn't play at least 25 minutes this year. Um, LeBron looks fresh. Uh, yeah. you know, he looks like he wants it, and, and you know, they're getting key contributions from Thomas Bryant, which is crazy to say. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, who, who's doing the, his best to fill those big, very fragile shoes that AD leaves. Um, we saw the Warriors get a win in Toronto the other night, mm -hmm. uh, you know, due in large part to a career high from JP3, 43 points. Wicked. Um, but the Warriors don't have another singular superstar, whereas the Lakers do. Yeah, and you see that with uh, JP. That's why they paid him. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, that's why you paid him to step into those, into that role, the almost somewhat fragile shoes of Steph Curry. But it also comes down to defense. You yeah. know, uh, Steph, uh, widely touted as a bad defender, he's an underrated defender. Yeah, he's improved. He's very much so improved over this uh, over the couple of years. JP is not a good defender. Yeah, um, I know there's a lot of people with JP on their hate list, but <laughs> I don't JP mind. Hate list. I, I don't mind Jordan Poole. Um, if he understands that's why he's being paid, then we could potentially see, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. I mean, they're 10th in the West. Um, without Steph, it could be a free fall. It also could not be a free fall. And they could just maintain, get Steph back. They're only three games back from the sixth spot. I, like I said, not the panic button yet, but it's kind of close. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I guess to in conclusion, you know, call me a delusional fanboy, but I, I guess uh, I would say that LeBron could probably drag this team along if he's playing like this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, to a to a plus five hundred record in Anthony Davis's uh, uh, absence. About the Warriors, um, before we before we move on, um, so let's say he misses three weeks, right? Mm. Conveniently enough, they've got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight game home stretch, uh, which will cover most of that. And then uh, their next away game is January 13th. 
Um, and then they then they have five in a row on the road. We all know it was talked about at length. They are terrible on the road. Mm-hmm. The fact that they got their their third win three. on the road the other yeah. night. Yep, they're three and twelve now on the road. Um, woof. Uh, so the good news for them is at least that they have uh, some a home stand. The play that stands out to me that you mentioned he is their offense, Justin. You're right. The play last night where uh, they run a, a DHO with Jordan Poole and, and Draymond, and uh, Draymond immediately turns around to pass the ball to who would be Steph, <sighs> right. but because Steph isn't there, it's Dante DiVincenzo, and they don't have that chemistry. DiVincenzo goes to the elbow instead of the right corner, and it's a direct pass out of bounds. You're right. The The chemistry isn't there with those younger guys. Draymond and Steph have been doing this forever now, so uh, I, I'm worried for the Warriors a little bit, but it all comes down to how long he's out. So... All right, 100 points to Trey and I. We will move on to question two. Who is speaking in this clip? Yeah, I mean, it's just our chemistry, really. We're just super, you know, close-knit, and we share the ball, and we play the right way, so it's a lot of fun. A career night for you. 15 points is a career high. You tied a career high in rebounds as well with seven. What was different tonight? Just the rhythm, really. Uh, You know, just wanted to be aggressive and play my role to the best of my ability, and, you know, it happened to fall in my favor. Who is speaking in that clip? Career high 15 and 7. I I don't mean to laugh at a young player, I'm assuming. <laughs> but but like it is when you hear career high, you assume it's a yeah, lot 41 higher, points. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um I could see this being somebody. You're right. I think I'll, it's, uh, I'll give you that help. It is somebody. What, I I don't know why I'm being picked on right now. No, I don't. I don't, just, I don't appreciate you were just taking it. Are you such being pregnant pauses? <laughs> Are you, Justin? I'm a victim. Okay, don't. Are you? You know what I mean? Don't. <laughs> That's some projecting right there. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I've got right. no idea. Well, okay. Um, let's just let's work as a team. Okay. I like it. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I now now say the... Fred Van Vliet is the top 15 point guard. Nope. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Career high 15 points. You. Fred Van Vliet is that? Well, it could be a Warriors player. Um, obviously, the win after the Rockets game, it could be a Dante DiVincenzo, but I don't know if he's had. I'm, it's not. Yeah, I can tell you, just talked about he, the Warriors. He had, he had five threes, right. and yeah. Um, is it a Knicks player in the middle of their streak? I know we just got the Knicks wrong, right? But it's they're not, a big story right now. I mean, who would it be? Emmanuel quickly. Oh, oh actually, that's not a bad call because I did pick him up on my fantasy. This there last you go. Week. That's not too bad. Yeah, with the Quickles. Can I hear it again? Sure, let's hear it again. Yeah, I mean, it's just our chemistry, really. We're just super, you know, close-knit, and we share the ball, and we play the right way, so it's a lot of fun. A career night for you. 15 points is a career high. You tied a career high in rebounds as well with seven. What was different tonight? Just the rhythm, really. Uh, You know, just wanted to be aggressive and play my role to the best of my ability, and, you know, it happened to fall in my favor. I like it. Mm, But he talks about his role. He didn't take over as... So Jalen Brunson was questionable, but he still ended up playing. Was the thing? Yeah, he just playing his role. All right. I I mean I I don't have a better name for you. Okay. At all. So let's yeah. go. Yeah. Emmanuel quickly. Quickly, Dickly. Let's see. Side with David. David, you guys took the lead early in this game with a seventy point first half. Nope. David. David <laughs> on a team that took a seventy point lead in the first half. They're gonna have sorry scored it. seventy in in the in, any any ideas no it's David Roddy from the Memphis Grizzlies, uh-huh. a rookie, career high fifteen and seven. Yeah, there's context there. Don't get mad at me. I'm not. Mad. No, we're no, not. No, 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 we're not. No, if anything, got mad at me. Guard. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, w- I was at a loss. Well, I will tell you, if you were watching that Grizzlies Bucks game, uh, he was making big plays in the first half for them, and he, they were talking about him a lot on the broadcast. So, um, definitely notable in that game. Okay. Despite a loss of the Thunder over the weekend, the Memphis Grizzlies are one of the hottest teams in the league right now, going 8-2 and two in their last 10, including a true bully beatdown of the East's top seed Milwaukee Bucks. They now sit atop the Western Conference standings at 19-10. and 10. What are you seeing from the Grizzlies that's brought them to the number one spot? I think it's elite guard play, mm. honestly. It, mm. it's, it's really something else. Um, between... Dylan Brooks and Ja, of course, and um, Tyus Jones, Des- Tyus Jones, and even Desmond Bain. Like he hasn't been there, but yeah, yeah. It's it's really special to see them uh, play well. You know, I've got my notes here for later, but I mm-hmm. might as well use them now because why not? Because uh, we're going to talk about it anyways. Um, honestly, it is coming off the guard play. I believe that yeah. uh, Triple J is fulfilling a role that is 
and with Steven Adams, not necessarily Steven Adams, but more so Triple J, just essentially eating the rebounds. Um, the thing is, is that they are six in points scored. However, they're in the middle of the pack at 15th, 15th, and 17th between three-point percentage, three-point shots made, and field goal percentage, which to me is pretty interesting because it seems like they just shoot the ball right in the middle of the pack as everyone else. But they're clawing out these wins, even the huge win against the Bucks. Mm-hmm. It really makes you think uh, that MVP ladder, uh, it's it's pretty debatable, you know, between Giannis or Ja. I definitely lean Giannis. Kyle. Tatum. Oh, I love you. Tatum Luka, still, still in course. there. Jokic yeah. now getting in there. I mean, it's still wide bit. open MVP, but what do you yeah. got, Justin? So for me, the Grizzlies, um, I, I love their guard play, mm-hmm. right? Over this last week, I think Dylan Brooks was like a plus 56 for the whole week. It was crazy. Yeah. Um, Everybody but, took a jump when they had that win against the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Which I don't think, some people were talking about like, oh, that's a sign. I go, nah, that's just an outlier game. Like that's going to happen from night to night. You know what I mean? Sure. Not every night, but obviously we saw the big win for, was that the Thunder last year? That was the biggest margin yeah, of victory ever. So like sometimes, it, you know, the stars align, that kind of stuff happens. But the guard play is great. Ja has a case for MVP. I know we kind of talked about this, me and you did, like his supporting cast might keep him from getting it in essence. Which I is, think so, yeah. Which is fine. Hmm. You know what I mean? I don't think you can hate on that if you're the Grizzlies. You like your team coming together. They're all growing together because they're all a young team. They're all going to be there for a little bit. Obviously, they hope. Um, so, I, I mean, they are dangerous for sure because they already have some playoff experience. Mm-hmm. So... We'll see how far they go. Um, I still, I mean, I still have the Nuggets winning the West as far as like record wise in the regular season. Okay, but I thought you had a, the Pelicans winning the West. No, not in the regular season. <laughs> okay, uh, you picked the Pelicans to make the finals now, right? I don't remember. Uh, okay, oh, well. and I mean, we have to read it to roll it back if you want me to roll yeah, it. Gotcha. Um, but no, shrink the schedule, the Nuggets. But anyway, um, yeah, they're looking good. They're looking fun. I wonder how long young legs stay fresh. You know what I mean? Well, longer than old ones. For sure, but... 82-game season does not favor the old legs. <laughs> no, but the old ones aren't playing all the all the time, and so yeah. hard. That's my thing. Can yeah, they but, keep it together long enough to where they're going to stay at a top four seed? I hope so. Yeah. But maybe. maybe. But I, I think that they, you know, the West is still pretty tight. The East is starting to kind of settle into where people are probably going to be. You're starting to see the separation between the great teams and the good teams and the bad teams like the Wizards. Um, Grizzlies, <laughs> so here's the deal. Their top five There is in, no reason for that. We, we, <laughs> talked about, we talked about the guard play, yes. You're right. But they are top five in rebounds, blocks, net rating, defensive rating, mm-hmm. points in the paint, fast break points, second chance points. Um, those are... They are a, a a team that is heavy on hustle points. They're big mm-hmm. on hustle plays, um, and they play big in the paint. Against the Bucks the other night, Brandon Clark and Triple J. Uh, again, there is no one that can stop Giannis, but they put up a damn good fight against him. Triple J got in a little bit of foul trouble early on, so that's why he didn't have such a uh, crazy production in that game. But still, um, the the athleticism and quickness, along with the size of Brandon Clark and Triple J on the floor together at the same time, guarding. Um, a, uh, a a superstar that is Giannis really they really held their own um, and Triple J looks like he didn't miss a beat coming back from injury last year it took him a while to kind of get going again Jaw is able to rest when he needs to um, you know yeah. he he's staying fresh these rookies are playing hard like David Roddy who we mentioned who, you know who we played in the clip Kennedy Chandler who looks like he's going to be a stud Santi Aldama is playing like key minutes for them um, and uh, they have the best backup point guard in the league in Tyus Jones oh and one more thing their big three has not played a game together this year. Hmm. Jaw, Desmond Bain, and Triple J have not played one minute on the floor at the same time. That's right. Yeah. Um, when Desmond Bain comes back and Jaw is fully healthy, um, or at least playing consistently, the Grizzlies are terrifying to me. Um, they combine everything that you would want in both conferences to compete with any team on the floor. My fear of the Grizzlies is, is their ego going to get in their way? Is their head too big? Are they, you know, the the tunnel walkouts where they're doing the dance every game and all that? Mm-hmm. And I like that. Have the energy. Be the Warriors. Go ahead. Be the Warriors from 2015, 2014. Go ahead. Be the young team that nobody expects or, or, or maybe expects but still can't handle. I hope they're that. Um, scary hours in Memphis, man. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's so much more ego as much as it is and playoff experience. I think that's well, the only thing. But they have been there, though. They I have. Mean, they had a good. They had a good series. They had a, 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 a tough series as an eight seed against the Jazz. Jaws first year in the playoffs, right. and then the second year last year, um, you know, they beat the Wolves. Granted, in six, ga- seven games actually, and then uh, and then the Warriors, who 
you know, they had that game, that big blowout game without Jaw. But I think mm-hmm. that if Jaw stays healthy, that series goes a little differently. Definitely not Warriors and yeah. six, in my opinion. Um, so they have the experience, and the rookies that are there are getting experience from the veterans. And the other thing is, I don't expect them to make a move, but they have a plethora of picks, and they have movable contracts like Danny Green. Um, and they have pieces that they are in a very unique position where it's much like the Pelicans. They are playing incredible, and their second best player is not there. Yep. Uh, so I I cannot wait to see what happens. I hope we get I hope we get seven games of Grizzlies Warriors in the playoffs or Grizzlies Pelicans or something. Uh, I, I hope that that is what shakes out. But I cannot wait to see what the Grizzlies do in the long term. All right, on to question three now. Who is speaking in this clip? And who? Sorry, what is this person <laughs> talking about? I was just making shots, man. I've um, been a bit of a slump, and you know, just got to keep shooting. You know, that's what I live by. And, you know, I was put in the right situations to make the right plays. And, you know, I usually um, just want to make the right play every time. But once I get it going a little bit, you know, shooting over a hand is, is the right play. Who's speaking in that one? And what's that person talking about? Shooting over what? I, I think he says shooting over hand or overhand. Or... He says shooting over two hands or something like that. <clears throat> Maybe something like that. He, I think he was just talking about having a hot hand. Yeah, mm. I... I want to say I think I know what this is. Oh, good. But I don't know for sure. Uh, is it a Knicks player? No. <laughs> Damn it. I think it's Devin Booker talking about his big night. Oh. You think 58? 58, yeah. One D- game. D-Book? Which he had 57 with like three minutes left. Yeah, they, they really clamped up on him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now he was yeah. hitting shots over two hands. And Chris like Paul got shots. a couple threes. Yeah. yeah. So it, I, There I, was a three that was like, what in the hell? Like, that he nailed. I was like... The Rah. and one on Alvarado was really where it was like, oh, they're not doing anything with this. So. Yeah, yeah. No. Let's see. Booker with a season high, 58 points. Yep. Yes, of course. Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns avoided a season sweep uh, from yes. the Pelicans, storming back from a 24-point deficit to beat the New Orleans Pelicans 118-114 and regain some momentum as we close out 2022. Bob, are you buying that the Suns have recovered from their skid? That's a great question, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, Justin has his lines, that's probably my line. Is That is a great question. <laughs> um, recovering? Not recovered, but recovering okay. would be my answer. Not to all that. the way back, but halfway there, maybe? Right. Uh, you, can't On expect, their way? you can't expect Booker to score that every night because he doesn't do not. that every night. Of course not. Um, but man, something had to change. He had to get his team together. CP3 is still just a dirty player, but I really <laughs> do like to see where they're going. Uh, DeAndre Ayton, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't even play that game. He's missed two straight. Yes, yes. he's missed two straight. Um, so yeah, they're recovering. I, th- I think it's a process. Uh, the Suns sit. Oh man, my thing just went away. They're, they're at the fourth, four seed, fourth in the West, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, they're recovering. I think they'll be just fine, but. Eventually, they'll get to that point where they're back. I know you got a take on these Suns, Justin. What you got? I don't think they're back. I think this is a flash in the pan. Mm. Um, it's kind of what I feel about Devin Booker kind of as a whole. So I had this thought after he scored the 58. I go, oh, I scored 58 points. Crazy. But it just doesn't feel like he scores impactfully a lot. Like, he has a 70-point game, and then he has a 58-point game, and it kind of it flashes and it goes away. Mm-hmm. Whereas, like, Steph, I always feel like, can, can win a whole game for you any night of the week. I don't have that same feeling with Booker. I feel like I Devin that. Booker can yeah. win you a game once every two, three months by himself. Do you know what I mean? I don't know and if it's, it's that a, far and few sure. between, but I get But in my saying. head, yeah. So like, I, I just, he's just not... The, I, w- I would say that, actually. Yeah, like the, the uh, tier of player. At least a three player. or four month difference between a massive game. A game where I see him yeah. and I go, holy cow, Devin Booker. And then I'm not, we're, we're not going to hear about another Devin Booker game, in my opinion, probably for, again, another two months. Yeah. So like, oh. He scored I, a 50 two weeks ago. Yeah. And then... Mm-hmm. Wasn't that big of a deal. That's kind of my situation here with him. Yeah. Is he's not impactful to me as much on the court. It just hasn't for, it come to fruition for me. Yeah, Tatum can do the same um, thing, and he wins you games. I get what you're saying. Yeah, and so and also agree. Tatum gives you the other side of the ball when what all the other stuff, right? Yeah. So I don't I don't think so. I'm I see him falling. Mm. Like I see other teams ascending. I see them not you know, a home court playoff stagnant team. out, and mm-hmm. I don't think so. Okay. No. 
So I think the weaknesses of this roster have been exposed. You know, Kyle keeps telling me that Mikel Bridges is the pace setter uh, for this roster. Good take. Um, yeah, because of his activity on both sides of the ball, and I'm Good really take. starting to think he's right. Uh, Booker is a flamethrower. We know that. Uh, you know, but Chris Paul not playing to the level we're used to, um, at least seeing from him. Uh, it. I don't think it's all doom and gloom. I'm not ready to call it for the Suns. I do still think that they will be a home court playoff team, um, and they will make some serious noise in the playoffs. I pray to everything that exists that we get seven games of Phoenix and New Orleans oh, yes. in the playoffs. I Please. want that so bad because I think that Zion's going to do some special stuff against that team. And literally, I'd love to see them battle it out. Literally commit murder. Yeah, probably. probably. That's not what I want. Um, I, want it, I want first round Mavericks sons. Again, I want Luca to go again. Uh, See, I think that I think the I think though that the the now the Suns Pels rivalry is amped up a notch yeah. higher than the than yeah. the Mavericks would be. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, not it's not all doom and gloom. I'm not ready to call it for him, but it is definitely an, uh, an eye to keep a uh, team to keep uh, your eye on in my mind. So, all right, let's get it. Let's get it rocking and rolling. Number four here. So now we are tied for the game. Two hundred points to two hundred points. On to question. F- nope. What? Just, oh, just go with I it. guess, yeah, because I thought I, it was two first. Sorry, yeah, was. I was 200, lost. 200. Okay, On to question four. Who is speaking in this clip? And what is this person talking about? Uh, just being in that moment, my, my kids were, were here, my fiance was here. Just being appreciative of the time that I do get. I'm happy. That I'm very fortunate to be on like on the winning team. I'm very fortunate to still be playing the game, um, being healthy enough to play this game, and coming back here, feeling the love and the vibrations like that was, yeah, it was surreal. Who's feeling the love and the vibrations? It's Kimba Walker. Oh. Who do oh. you think it was? I don't think it's Kimba Walker. Who'd you think? I think it's Derrick Rose. That's also who I thought it was, but I was like, well, let's give Kimba some love. Talking about going back into Chicago. Definitely. That's what I definitely yeah. think it is. The Knicks in Chicago. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I just Dr- wanted to talk about Kimba. I'm sorry. No, I hear you. I'm not. 36 <laughs> <Those> points. <laughs> yes. Yes. Cardiac For Kimba sure. came out, Woo, came out of nowhere. Good for him. Yeah, All right. It's, it's let's Rose. see. Derek, it was pretty cool to be in this arena. Yep. Yes, you are correct. Derek Rin- what? Derek Rose <laughs> returned to the Windy City this week, and his New York Knicks left with a win. Don't look now, but the Knicks currently hold the longest win streak in the league and have made the leap out of the play-in spots. With excellent leadership from Jalen Brunson and key contributions from R.J. Barrett and Julius Randle, are you buying the Knicks to make a playoff run? Yes! <laughs> Hell yeah! Only one loss in December, and it came at the hands of the Mavericks. Okay, that's not a bad loss, and no. it happened on December 2nd. These guys are streaking like none other. Everyone said, oh, R.J. Barrett, dish, or, or sorry, uh, Julius Randle. Who needs Julius Randle? No, Julius Randle has been going the fuck off, mm. and I am so into it. Like, he's been playing out of his mind. R.J. Barrett is a perfect compliment. Jalen Brunson is on a revenge tour completely. I am, I never thought I'd say it, but damn it. I love this Knicks team right wow. now. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm all in on the Knicks. We knew that. Yeah, I'm all in. I've been all in on Jalen Brunson all year since mm-hmm. last year. I thought I was going to have a great season. You got a new team? Um, no. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> I don't. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 you whoa, said something a couple whoa, weeks ago. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But no, I think the Knicks are definitely going to make a playoff run. Uh, Jalen Brunson right now, 21, 3, and 6. Huh. Um, That's good. Yeah, nobody thought he it's was going to do anything if, uh, on the show. So, uh, and namely you. So, but I didn't say he wasn't going to do anything. I no, said that he's Knicks, not worth the money they gave him, and I stand by that. He is leading oh, this team no. twenty one p- points per game. Mm-hmm. And what were they last year? Not not a great team. And what are they this year? Gonna be a playoff team. That's Actually exactly a right. A hundred yeah. million dollars gets you playoffs in New York City. Thank you, Jalen Brunson, and good night. And You're- shout out to Svi Mikhailu as well. Yeah, no, you're right. The Knicks will make the playoffs. They're going to get bitch slapped in the first round. Uh, but I got to give credit where credit is due. Jalen Brunson is for real. Uh, and I think the Shaq quote, uh, you know, what he told Christian Wood, I owe you an apology. I was not familiar with your game applies here. I, I own that. Um, still, I don't necessarily think that he deserves the money. He, he was paid quite yet. We'll see what happens. But at this moment, I stand by my take that he was a little overpaid. They're an exciting team with some solid momentum. It's good for the league when the Knicks are good. So go for it. Be good. Absolutely. Have a good regular season. Good for you, Nick. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy for you. you, you uh, you know, I'm re- it, it's a fun team to watch. Jalen Brunson's crossover on Alex Caruso hit that game winner. Incredible. You know, he he is a is a true professional. If you watch his interviews, um, 
post game, he's just like, yeah, you know, as a leader of the team, I have to be here. I have to play. I have to this and that. So, um, I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of his meaning. I, I like the, I like the, uh, professionalism and the sportsmanship that he displays and his on court play is obviously not far from that. So, so go good for the next, like I said, go be good, but they're going to get dominated in the first round and it'll be uh it'll be a kind of a cakewalk for whoever's there. Huh. And, uh, we will, we will be listening to this, uh, in April, uh, late April when they, uh, just got five gamered by whoever the hell they just got five gamered. Oh, no, yes, Are they we will. Are they going to have a home court playoff game? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, so we finished that game. 400 points for you guys, 200 points for us. That was What Did He Say? And we're just going to roll right into another game what? called One on One. One on One, winner takes all. One on One. One on One. One-on-one. One-on-one. One-on-one! Yep, that's right. This is how this game works. I will give you a category. For example, Eastern Conference teams. You will then go back and forth, each naming a team, player, person, or subject that falls within the category. Each round, the points will increase with each correct answer. Uh, so the first person unable to come up with a response that falls within the category loses and all of the accumulated points from that round go to the winner. You must answer quickly and clearly. I will settle any disputes. Does that sound good to you, gents? Yeah. All mm. right. Think of a number between 1 and 17. 14. It was 14. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit. It's never happened on the show. I also guessed 14. Lego. Oh, well, hey, oh, right, I guess I should have let you guess. I guess oh, I apologize. But that's crazy. It's never happened. Exa- I also 17. You know, yeah. It was it's a the thousand. sweater, bro. It's, it's a sweater. Me. That's a good look. Yeah. Do you remember that that was what you wore on the first episode of the show? My wife asked me, have you ever worn that on the show? I said, yeah. The first the one. The first episode. When I was just a guest. When I was just a young Back. buck <laughs> guest on the show. This big star podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Bob, do you want to go first? Yes. Okay. The category is, uh, sorry, category one is worth five points per correct response. Name current European players. Luka Doncic. Nikola Jokic. Kristaps Porzingis. Giannis. <sighs> Where are you at, Bob? Uh, wow, I actually already, re- I'm sorry. No. No. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> 20 points. Hooray. <laughs> 15. <laughs> Four correct responses. Yeah, four total. Thank you. It's okay. Math is hard. You both got two. Five each. Oh. Yeah, you, you failed, went, you you failed on your third <laughs> I'm really bad. <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. All right, Justin, you're, you're going first this time. Yep. Category two is What's worth points? 10 points per correct response. <laughs> Name former Mavericks players. Dirk Nowitzki. J.J. Barea. Jason Kidd. Sean Marion. Tyson Chandler. Jalen Brunson. Jason Terry. No. Nope. There. That was a good one. Jet was a good one. How many did you get? 50? Seven. Oh, sorry. 70. We got seven total, yeah. Good so job. Here we are. Good job to you. So 90 points already. Oh, Jeez. No. You're the one behind, Bob. Oh. Come on. <sighs> All right, Bob. You're going first. 14. Category three. <laughs> <laughs> you got that one. <laughs> yes. That's a, it's about the little victories. <laughs> yes. All right. Category three is worth 20 per... Points correct per per, <laughs> per correct response. Give me a second. I got to pull this up real quick. Uh, oh no! No, I just I, I just lock this in. I realized that I did not uh, have this up. Okay, hang on one second. I'm ready for it. By the way, <laughs> I refuse to be ready for it. Okay, I refuse. Alrighty, 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 never. Alrighty. Okay. I apologize. I, I was not fully. Uh, I apologize. I was not uh, familiar with your game. Okay. <laughs> Category three is worth 20 points per correct response. Players averaging a double double right now. Ja Morant? Nope. No. <laughs> wow. Really? No. No, he's at like. He's what would at... he be averaging? You think he's averaging more than 10 assists a game? Nope. Rebounds. Was nope. he like eight or six? No. Yeah, he averaged 7.7 assists oh. and 6.7 rebounds. Mm. I had so a high rate zero go. points zero point. Good round. <laughs> woo, woo. Wow. Man, horrible start. All right. <laughs> Category four is worth 50 <laughs> points per correct response. Justin, you're going first. The category is name NBA mascots. Yes! No, you suck so much. I hate Jimmy you. Jimmy the Cricket. 
What? Come nope. on. No, All I, right, I here we go. I myself the points. Let me go. <laughs> Stuff the Magic Dragon, Benny the Bull, Lucky the Leprechaun, <laughs> Give it to Mavs him. Man, Give Suns it to Gorilla. Him. Give him. How many, how many did you just name? That was five. Six. five. That was five. Five? I'm yeah. giving him. I'm going to give you 100 points right there. Yeah. All right. Because he, suck, he, he intentionally sabotaged. That's not I fair blame. or fun. By the way, Stuff the Magic Dragon. Shout out to Stuff. Yeah, you Great were listing name. them off last week. You like you guys want to know who, who the, who the, who the <laughs> mascot is for this. So what's the finish score for that game? I guess we don't know, right? That actual game, no. We are sitting at 500 points for Bob, 490 for me, and 200 for you and Trey. Cool, we'll take it. All right, well, that was one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, and before we get to our last game of the day, it's time for Bob's Buckets. It's time for Bob's Buckets. Yes, 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 yes. It is I, Bob Buckets himself. Okay, so we're just going to do a quick power ranking as of yesterday um, when I wrote this list. And when I wrote this list, the Denver Nuggets won. And so they actually are now tied fifth overall with the New Orleans Pelicans. This is oh. both conferences. So we've talked about the Nuggets, or we've actually, we didn't really talk too much about the Nuggets uh, between Jokic's uh, 81st triple double which is absolutely insane 20 it's rebounds in the first half Holy insane moly. and only uh him and wilt and elgin baylor with 40 points 27 rebounds and 10 assists the third in mm -hmm. history which is super impressive um i've always been big on the nuggets i think they're absolutely gonna come up they look great uh also type them are the pelicans um, they are one game back from the, their divisional leaders, the Grizzlies. However, three straight losses, uh, two to the Jazz, and then, of course, the one to the Suns. Um, I think we talked about it earlier with uh, playoff experience with the Grizzlies. That is nothing compared to the Pelicans' playoff inexperience. Mm -hmm. They Agreed. are really in trouble once they get to the playoffs. How often does someone potentially take the West and then just absolutely have zero playoff experience and lose it. Anyway, so those are my five, uh, or sorry, that was number five. Number four, move on to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Uh, but tough overtime win against the Mavericks, uh, six and three in December, but they're two games back from their divisional leaders of Milwaukee. Cleveland is incredibly balanced. Uh, Darius Garland is an offensive powerhouse. Uh, Mitchell can do it all. Donovan Mitchell's the man. And Jared Allen and Evan Mobley can eat rebounds all day and control pick gobble, and gobble, roll. Gobble, 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 gobble. And control pick and roll plays. They look great. Uh, number three, we move on to the Grizzlies. Uh, 19 and 10, obviously 7 and 1 in their last eight. Uh, the Grizzlies control the West for now, and they lead the league in rebounds. Uh, I mentioned earlier about how they're six and points scored, yada, yada, yada. And of course, their success comes from their phenomenal guard play. Uh, number two, the Boston Celtics. Oh, wow. The Seas are one in four in their last five with a tough California road trip with back to back losses to the Magic. The Magic are the fifth worst team. However, only three games behind the play-in spot, the Magic are. Uh, Jalen Brown had a great game per usual, and Jason Tatum missed the last game due to personal reasons. Marcus Smart said after the game that they have been pressing themselves too hard. However, Big Bob Williams said it all comes down to toughness and energy. And he did make his debut. Uh -huh. He did. Um, so tell me, are the Celtics pressing too hard or not enough? conflicting reports interesting <laughs> i really Drama. think Rama. i really think the celtics might be outside of the warriors with you know um with uh bob myers not re-signing and stuff like that like that extension hasn't come out and of course all the stuff with steph the celtics and the warriors are so drama filled right now it's really interesting to watch and at number one the milwaukee bucks mm. six and three in the last nine games uh Giannis uh, sat against the Jazz, and they still won behind Bobby Portis's 22 points, 14 rebound performance, as well as, you know, I call him J. Rue because I think of Ja Rule all the time. So, <laughs> uh, Drew Holiday's uh, 21, 4, and 8, and a special shout out to Marjan Bouchon coming off the bench and dropping 18 points. Uh, Giannis is my favorite to win MVP outside of Tatum. I know it's tough right now, uh, but we saw the head-to-head -head matchup between Giannis and Ja, where Ja actually got the best of Giannis. And Jaw dropped the 25, 10, and 10 triple yes. double. He did get that triple double uh, and then was immediately yanked from the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were by like 30 something and uh, they were not playing. Taylor Jenkins was like, no, no, not risking my star, but glad you got that triple double so, for, yeah. for your stats. Those are Bob's Bucks. So, so just to review, give yes. me a, number one Bucks, number two Celtics, number three uh, Cavs. 
Three was Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Four, four was Cavs. Five was Pelicans slash Nuggets. Okay, so you got a tie there at five. Okay, yep. I, I like that. I would I would probably, uh, just my personal preference, I would probably shuffle uh, the top three a little bit. I think the Grizzlies deserve, especially after that big win. But, you mm-hmm. know, uh, also right now as we speak, uh, Bucks are up five at the end of the third quarter on the Pelicans right now. So uh, that'll be an interesting game to Only watch down five. the stretch. Only five. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's a close game for sure. Uh, uh, Jonas Valanciunas leading the Pelicans, scoring with 28 points. So good buckets there, my boy boy. That's me, Bob. Bob, Bob Buckets. Bob, Bob. Uh, Bob, Bob. Bob versus Justin. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> All righty, guys. Okay, Ooh. let's get into our last game of the day, which is, of course, the one, the only, <gasps> Rapid Fire Trivia. <laughs> get on, Bessie. Yeehaw. Yeehaw, basketball. Doug Dimido. <laughs> Did you see the Jimmy Butler hat thing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doug Jimidome. Doug oh, the Jimidome. Jim 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 <laughs> yeah. Jimsdale Jimidome. All right. A very straightforward game here. You will have 60 seconds to correctly answer as many random NBA trivia questions as you can in a rapid fire trivia fashion. Uh, rapid fire fashion. You will each get one attempt. Each correct answer is worth only 25 points in this one is a fun one. Think of oh, a number no. between 1 and 25. Justin gets to go first. I want 17. Oh, it's 14. No, it was 21. Oh, Woo! No. Justin, would you like to go first? I would. All right. 60-ish seconds on the clock. Begin. Oh. Who's the only player to ever record more than 41 rebounds in a game not named Bill Russell or Wilt Chamberlain? Check. No. Oh, no. No. Uh, sorry. Uh, Nate Thurman. Uh, what year was great. Steve Nash drafted? 96. Yeah. Correct. Who is the head coach of the Brooklyn Nets? Oh, oh uh, I don't know his name. Oh, nope. Jacques Vaughn. Yeah. yeah, that's correct. Where was Phil Jackson born? Cambodia. Nope. Deer Lodge, Montana. How tall is Josh Giddy? 6'10". Nope. 6'8". Oh. Who is the current GM of the Houston Rockets? Oh. Yeah, you know. Nope. Europe. Did you say Europe? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Raphael Stone. Yeah. How old is PJ Tucker? 37. Nope. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's correct. Woo! Uh, so I just assumed. Uh, who, who correctly, sorry, who currently leads the league in turnovers per game? The Rockets. No, it's player, sorry. Oh, Russell Westbrook. Nope. Joel Embiid. Oh. Where did Pascal Siakam go to college? Oh, Moorhead State. Nope. No, it was New Mexico State. Oh, close. Yeah, yeah. The Aggies or something. No, I'm at the New state. Mexico State? Yeah. Uh, the Lobo. No, that's... That's a tequila. That's no, the there are other... No, New that's Mexico State, there are the Lobos. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah they cool. are the Lobos. Also, nice. also a tequila. Yep. Nice. Name five two college mascots. Name five tequila. <laughs> you got two. Well done. Yes. Well done. All what right. Are they worth again? 25 each, 50 points for you. Big one. Big one indeed. All right, Bobo, ready? Ready. 60-ish seconds on the clock. Jacques Vaughn. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Begin. What is the capacity of the Washington Wizards home arena, Capital One Arena? Uh, 18, 22. Nope. 20,356. Close. How many teams has Dennis Schroeder played for? Four? Nope. Five. Oh. What NBA player had the famous quote, you never know when your future wife might be in the stands? Uh, damn it, Jimmy Buckets. Nope. J.R. Smith. Oh, of course. How many championships did Dexter Pittman win? Oh, zero. Nope. One. Oh. Where did Richard Lewis go to college? Uh, New Mexico State. Nope. He didn't. <laughs> what? <laughs> what player is second all time in games won? Elgin Baylor? Nope. Robert Parrish. Ooh. What is Isaiah Stewart's nickname? Stu. I'll give it to you. <laughs> yes! It's beef stew. Let's go! Who is the current leader in total assists in the Southeast Division? Chris Paul. Nope. Southeast <laughs> Division. <laughs> oh, he's Trey oh, Trey. <laughs> How many times has an NBA team forfeited a game during the game? Once. Nope. Six. We're oh. just going to let you... Actually, Justin can get one. Well, we don't need to rapid fire this. Justin, what uh, what is LeBron James's mother's middle name? Mm, it is Delonte. Marie. Yep. You got it. You got to be shit. Woo! 25 points. Thank you, Shannon Sharp. Bob. <laughs> oh, my God. How many current NBA players are from Nantucket, Massachusetts? 
Good question, Michael. Thank you. Three. Nope. Zero. Oh, of course. And Bob, uh, sorry, Justin, who is your favorite NBA player of all time? It's Carmelo Anthony. Nope. It's Spencer Yao Ming. Haywood. Oh, Dang it. You should have known. Your you, favorite player ever. You ever. How'd you forget? You should have known Spencer Haywood. Oh, hang on. That was a good one. <laughs> Give me one second. Yeah, you go ahead and put in those points there. Uh, I really had fun with the uh, you never know when your future wife might be in this <laughs> <laughs> because I said famous quote, and I literally just Googled J.R. Smith quotes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet there's some good ones. Half of them are about golf. He's really into golf he now. Is. Yeah, you know, he, he goes to college. Yeah, goes yeah. to college for golf. Yeah, good for kind him. Kind of. Shout to golf. Oh, I believe it. Hey, good for him. Good yeah, for him. He's actually a very good golfer. He no, good golfer. I know, yeah. but like, it's impressive. Yeah, hey. Rich NBA player, you get to play some golf. Good for you. Yeah. All right. Well, that was one on, or sorry, that was rapid fire trivia. And we are now going to gamble those points away in today's props to you. On today's exciting props to you, the leaderboard right now stands with your boy, Justin, me. First place. Wow. 3,715 big R- ones. Rarified air for you. I know. I I've been there in a long won. time. I know. Well, that's okay because Trey, right on my heels with 3,650 points. Michael, you are in third place. Uh, how's it feel? Does it hurt? Does it suck? Is it mad? You know? I'm fine. I know. It's just a new house for you. I get it. 3,350 points. But Bob, you're not far behind. 525 <laughs> points. Right behind you. Now, Bob. You're kind of nipping at the heels. Now, Bob, you, you have the <laughs> right 70. Right your <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you have the 76ers over the Pistons on Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Would it be a fair Dog. assumption to say you're going to bet all your points Dog, on it? Dog, if the Detroit Pistons win this game, new hate list, I'm going to hunt them down. I tell okay. you what, I'll, I'll offer I'll you. It. I'll offer you two to one odds the other way. I'll let you. I'll let you. Win. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you win more points if you take the Pistons over the 76ers. It's a good idea, but I'm not that dumb, so I'm going to go ahead and just bet all my points. Okay, uh, all right. I'm going to bet all of my points. Uh, I'm, gonna let, I'm not going to be that you triple stupid. Up, but okay. Yeah. Um, Trey taking the Raptors over the Knicks on Wednesday, betting the big 500 points. He phoned it in. I have the Mavericks over the Wolves on Wednesday, and I'm going to bet 100 points. Playing it smart. Yep. Respect. Michael. See, I don't get mad how you guys get mad at me. So I'm in a lead. It makes sense that you want to keep you, your lead. You have a lead of like 3,000 points. You're like, I'll bet 25 big ones. You know what? Actually, um, I'll take your bet. Really? Oh, There it is. Give me the action, he says. I'm not here. I, this, this, it's, it's yay basketball. What do, you, what do you people expect? You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not here. here. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Who do you I think am. You are? Lakers over Kings. Yeah, probably a, probably a bad pick, but probably. let's do it. How many points? You do have the 3,350 of them. What would Bob get if he... If he wins, he'll have 1,575. And I have 3,000... 350. 335? Yeah. 3350. Yeah, right. Uh, Give me... You know what? Let's ride or die with my boy. Give me LeBron for 2,000 oh, points. Oh, okay. I love you so much. Thanks, bud. Oh, by the way... Um, I'll take a punishment. I need one. I if, think... If, if, I, if it's me, I'll take figure it. it out. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we still have to figure that out. What did you have? Well, I, I'm trying to remember what it was. It was like uh, <laughs> back in 2011. It was around. Oh, sorry. I, I had a stat that was like 2011 or something like that lined up. That was uh, actually around the time that we had met. So yeah. we've been oh, friends for LeBron. over 11 years. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Shout out to that. Yeah. Shouts to us. Shouts yeah. to everybody. Shouts to you. Yeah. Take All right, everybody. D- I listened uh, to that album today. There okay. You go. It's a good album. Uh, and that was also came out. Uh, 2011. 20, uh, 2012. But yeah. 20, oh, no, 2011, actually. I think. Hmm? 2011, 2012. Anyways, if you <laughs> want to keep track of all of our game picks and chat with us, ask us questions or give us game ideas, hit the link in the description of this episode to join our chalkboard group chat. It's a fun, free way to support the show. Also, before we move on, I do just want to say thank you, everyone, for listening. From the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of all of our hearts, we really do appreciate it. We put a lot of work in on this podcast, on the TikTok, on the YouTube. We're really grinding here trying to make something that that we know that you guys will enjoy. And if you've made it this far in the episode, we know that you probably enjoy it. And if you do, and you probably have another couple friends that like the NBA, send it to them. Just say, hey, 
check it out if you want. You know, no pressure. We're not we're not holding anybody hostage or anything. But uh, we think we make a fun, good show to listen to. And if they like the NBA, they'll probably like our show. So help us out. Get another couple people listening. Um, and uh, subscribe to the YouTube. Check out the YB Daily Show with Kyle and I every morning. We're breaking down every single game from the night. Prior. I watch every episode. Thank Me you. Too. It's incredibly entertaining. Uh, Kyle and I were joking this morning. At this rate, we're going to have to rename it because we've missed so many. It's it's more like my. It's uh, he said, "Welcome to YB sometimes." But uh, we're working on it. We're working on getting it more with the holidays. It's a little tricky, but uh, we're working on getting that. So thank you so much for listening. I really do appreciate it. Um, as always, pretty much everything I always say, like, subscribe, rate five stars on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. You really help us out when you do that. Uh, share with friends, like I said. Follow us on TikTok, uh, Instagram, Twitter, all that. Yay underscore basketball. That's where we get all that. Um, you really help us out uh, when you listen all the way to the episode. Like, send to a friend, all that stuff. And uh, really mean it. Thank you so much for checking us out. Uh, just a reminder, we do record live, which if you don't know what that means, we press record, we do not edit. Uh, the video we have to just cut together, we do it in one take, and we post what we've got. So I know it uh, seems like we do, but we don't. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's right. also non-scripted completely. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, thank you for listening, everybody. My boy, Bob, what you got for the peeps? Well... This week's Wizard Watch sees our Wizards on a 10-game losing no! streak. Oh, Come on. 10-game losing streak? 10-game really? losing streak. Loopy do that um, to me. Anyway, uh, no. Justin, what do you have for the people? <laughs> no, I, have to re- I have to reload this. Oh, and 10. <laughs> lost 10 straight. It's the longest hey. losing streak in the league by, hey, real quick, seven games. Oh, my God. Can you, can you just uh, go ahead? No, no, go, no, ahead. go ahead. We're yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. We're ready. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Five games. Five, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Oh. Five games. I'm sorry. Thank you. This week's Wizards Watch sees our beloved Wizards on a 10-game losing streak. <laughs> he has it scripted. <laughs> Even with Bradley Beal, Kristaps Porzingis, and Kyle Kuzma all averaging 20 points a game, we are finding ways to lose games. <laughs> find a way to lose. But we find ourselves firmly in the Wimbenyama sweepstakes. Oh, wow. At this point, Wizard fans... So now you're high on Vic. Yeah. Convenient. All we need to do is keep losing. <laughs> and we need to pair game. Oh the new freak of the league with the unicorn and Bradley Beal. That's what we're all in here for, guys. We're all in on changing the league next year. That's so what we're here for. So you're saying they trade Kuzma? They were. They are going to trade Kuzma. Okay. Yeah, they, they better for sure. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> all right. We don't have enough room for him anymore better. when we bring in Victor. He would be a perfect three alongside those guys. But okay. Yeah. Thank you again, everyone, for listening. We really do appreciate it. I already said what to check out and what to do and what to plug. Again, thank you so much for listening. We love you. Don't forget. We'll see you next week. Happy holidays. Yay basketball.